If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. A resistance of 20 ohm, inductance of 0.2 Henry, and a capacitance of 150 microfarad are connected in series to a 230 volt 50 hertz AC supply. Find number one impedance of the circuit, number two power factor, number three active power, and number four reactive power. Solution First of all, we will write what is given. The value of resistance is given. So R is equal to 20 ohm. The value of inductance is given. So L is equal to 0 0.2 Henry. The value of capacitance is also given. C is equal to 150 microfarad. R connected in series to a 230 volt. The value of voltage is given. Voltage V is equal to 230 volt. The value of frequency is also given. F is equal to 50 hertz. Now we have to find impedance of the circuit. So impedance of the circuit we have to find. That is Z. So first of all we will directly write the formula. Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square at an angle of 10 inverse of XL minus XC divided by R. Now we will put the values. Before putting the values, you must need the values of XL and XC. We have the value of this R but we don't have the value of XL and XC. So first we will find XL. To calculate XL that is inductive reactance. The formula is 2 pi FL. So we will substitute all the values 2 pi multiplied by frequencies 50 Hertz multiplied by L is inductance and its value is 0 0.2 Henry. So this will be 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 0 0.2. So it is 62.83. 62.83 and its unit is ohm. This is the value of XL. Then next we have to find XC. To calculate XC there is a formula. XC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC. So this will be 1 upon 2 pi frequency value is again 50 multiplied by C. C is capacitance and it is equal to 150 microfarad. So this will be 150 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. Now if we solve this, so this will be 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 150 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. So it is 21.22. 21.22. This is the value of Xc and its unit will be Ohm. Now we have the value of Xl and Xc. So we will find first of all Xl minus Xc. So Xl minus Xc will be 62.83 minus 21.22 so this will be 62.83 minus 21.22 it is 41.61 41.61 ohm now we have to find impedance z and its formula is R square plus XL minus XC whole square at an angle of 10 inverse of XL minus XC divided by R. So we will substitute all the values. Z is equal to under root of R. The value of R is 20 ohm. The resistance value is 20 ohm. It's a square plus XL minus XC whole square. So XL minus XC is 41.61 whole square 
एट एन एंगल ऑफ टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी सो एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी इज अगेन फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी वन डिवाइडेड बाय आर द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज ट्वेंटी नाउ इफ वी सॉल्व दिस सो वी गेट अंडर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी स्क्वेर प्लस फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी वन स्क्वेर इट इज फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन सिक्स एट एन एंगल ऑफ टेन इनवर्स ऑफ फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी सो इट इज सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट थर्टी टू डिग्री नाउ सिंस इट इज इम्पिडन्स सो इट्स यूनिट विल बी ओ होम सो दिस इज द एंसर फॉर इम्पिडन्स देन From this impedance, we have also found the value of angle phi, and it is equal to sixty-four point thirty-two degree. What what we have to find next? We have to find power factor. So power factor is equal to power factor is equal to cos phi, and phi value is sixty-four point thirty-two. So this will be cos of sixty-four point Thirty-two. So cos of sixty-four point thirty-two. It is zero point four three three. Zero point four three three. This is the value for cos phi. Power factor and power factor have no unit. So it have no unit. And also here we can see since Xl. Here we can see the value of Xl. The value of Xl is sixty-two point eighty-three, and the value of Xc is twenty-one point twenty-two. So Xl is greater than Xc. So we can write since Xl is greater than Xc, so the power factor, the power factor. Will be lagging. So here the power factor will be lagging. Then next we have to find active power. So active power is equal to V into I into cos phi. The value of voltage is given. It is two thirty volt. So two thirty multiplied by the value of current is the value of current is not there. So we can find the value of current using Ohm's law for AC circuit, and this will be V by magnitude of Z. So using this formula, we can find the value of this I. And the value of cos phi, the value of cos phi is zero point four three three. Zero point four three three. Now we will substitute the value of this voltage again. So two thirty multiplied by two thirty divided by magnitude of Z. So mod of Z is forty six point one six. Forty six point one six multiplied by zero point Four three three. So this will be two thirty multiplied by two thirty divided by forty six point one six multiplied by zero point four three three. So it is four ninety six point two two. Four nine six point two two, and its unit will be watt because it is active power. Then next, what we have to find? We have to find reactive power. So reactive power is equal to V into I into sine phi. So again, this will be the value of voltage is two thirty multiplied by 
psi, this current i. So the value of current will be again same. 230 divided by 46.16. 230 divided by 46.16 multiplied by sin. The phi angle is phi is equal to 64.32. 64.32. Now if we solve this, so this will be 230 multiplied by 230 divided by 46.16 multiplied by sine 64.32. So it is 1032.82 and since it is a reactive power and reactive power is denoted by Q. So its unit will be VAR. So this is the answer for reactive power. This is the answer for real power or active power. This is the answer for power factor. And this is the answer for impedance. If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. Thank you.